Uh, hi everyone, in this video I will show one fancy thing, some design thing. I've been playing around uh, with the uh, Oxcom and I came up with uh, one interesting thing. And it's uh, mainly actually, it's uh, it's about the, about the welcome screen. As we can see now it's coming up as a Vox, with the Vauxhall sign and shows everything the like a uh, range and the the, the 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 fuel it shows the gallons per hour and the, the miles so i will show how to change that over to the kilometers and uh, it will show the kilometers it will yeah it will show the liters per kilo, kilometer and uh, i will remove this one as well off it shows other because i have a the aftermarket um, uh, aftermarket stereo in so the radio that I will show how to remove that as well from the screen because it's it's been on the there was a, yeah there was the I think CD70 Navi inside so that's why there is the three sections as you can see there's the one for the music other one in the middle there's supposed to be for the GPS and the last one is course for the showing the distance and the fuel 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 usage the diesel so let's get it started so of course first is have to get into the ECU I think it's not to the ECU but it's in the so yeah we cho you choose your car and then you have to Choose the information infotainment state, uh, system. So choose that one, and then you have to go to the info display, to the second one. So choose it. As I'm uh, from uh, Latvia, and for me it's more comfortable if I see the kilometers, how much using the kilometers. Uh, the, the fuel per kilometers because the gallons gallons is about five liters so the, for me it's easier to see the liters per hundred kilometers that's the one of the things and uh, yeah the car of course is a Vauxhall but I will change the display to the to the Opel so uh, now we in into the system all you have to do is programming and then you have to go to the Program variant configuration, I think it was. Yeah, that's the one. So the country code shows the Great Britain, so I will leave that one. I don't know, you can. Yeah, there is some few more under. This is just for the radio, so for me, it doesn't matter. It's not connected. So this one is the CD70 Navi. As you can see, it shows the other because there is the other, other stereo in. So I will remove that one. I believe even by changing, if you changing, uh, if you trying to put the CD Navi in some other cars with a smaller screen or not colored screen, probably you can so by selecting these ones, it will work with them as well. But I will select no radio. So what's gonna happen now? I press the program and accept it as you can see the screen is rebooting and doesn't show any other sections you just show the range and the miles the range the miles yeah and the gallons per hour how much is going to use it so to change that on over to the kilometers again we're going back in uh, choosing next and the units as you can see, the, there is the UK units. UK units we change, changing to. There is the Japanese units as well. I don't know. I, I never checked that one. But let, let's have a look what's said on the Japanese units. What's gonna change over? Oh, it still goes over and changing to the kilometers. As you can see, every time when you're programming, the screen is rebooting. And yeah, there you can see that there is the now liters per hour or, or per kilometer later on when you start driving, and there is the kilometers how much you can do with the fuel what you got in the tank 
So let's go and show. So let's change units to the. I don't know. I will use them. So on the welcome screen, as we can see, there is the corporation type. Now it shows the voxel. There is few more in you can change, and I will. I like the Opel style. It's much for me. It looks much more nicer. I don't know why. So let's gonna. Let's have a look what's gonna happen when I'm gonna program it in. Accept the programming. So it's rebooting. And look at that. Is it not nicer than the Voxel welcome screen? There's few more, but like um, like a general motor Holden. You can program it that one, but with the general motor logo on. But for me, it doesn't look nice. Maybe for someone. So the next, we can select even the. Won't go down. General Motor Brazil. I don't think so. There will be some difference. Oh yeah, there is just, just Chevy, Chevy logo coming up. But it's not Chevy. It's it all works also. Opa. So the Chevrolet Opis. OPC, I thought there will be the OPC sign, sign, but now it's the same, I think, yeah, yeah, it's the same, just simple Opel, it doesn't look nice, not, I don't like that, so, I prefer to leave the, that one to the Opel, okay, program it, and yes, and, Look at this, it looks much nicer, beautiful screen coming up. And yeah, and even the language, you can change the, over the language. So as you can see, the language is English now. It's more familiar from the language what they are presenting. Come on, don't, don't show that bullshit. Okay, let's remove it. This one down. So there is Spanish, Dutch, what else? Norwegian, Finnish, Danish, English, Turkish. <laughs> the fucking cable. Sorry about that. About my language. So, yeah, Finnish, Danish, English, Turkish, and even the Polish. Because I know in England there's lots of Polish in there, so they can change to the familiar to the native language. So that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah. And what do we got? On? Units, Opel, board, computer that presents. What is it? Electric climate control. Yeah, I got that one. Uh, steering wheel control. I got. Check control, tire pressure system. I don't have alarm. I got well, that trailer hitch. That's I don't have. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for the watching, and see you in the next videos.